guys and welcome to my DIY channel. My name is Annalie and in today's video we have some farmhouse DIYs and a fun collab coming up. This video is going to be a collab with one of my girls, Jamie, from Simple Roots, Simple Living. She's incredible, you guys. I will have everything linked down below, so make sure that you check out her video. She is phenomenal. But I'm also working with a company in this video, and they sent me a box to try. So this is, um, the company is called DIY Home Project and they do a monthly subscription box where they send you a box of raw projects like raw wood with a raw project with all of the supplies that you need with the instructions. It is amazing. I cannot tell you the quality of this product. I would not share this if I didn't feel like this was quality. So I wanna show you guys exactly what I made from this box today. So let's hurry and do the unboxing right now so you guys can see me open everything up right now. Let's see what I got. Oh, wow! This is amazing. So this is our farmhouse story and it comes with a picture and instructions. Oh my gosh, step-by-step -step instructions or you can scan with your, your camera for video instructions. Oh, look at this. Look how cute this is. Yeah, yeah, that looks right. Okay. So it comes with this, the paint, the wood that you're going to need. These are wooden books. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wooden books. Oh my word. Wooden, oh my word. You guys, this is the cutest box. Look at this. Do you see this? It gives you this cute little wood round with the cutouts and the ribbon and the twine. It's the stencil. It is a stencil. I can reuse this. This is, I always drop something. Gosh, this is amazing. All right, you guys, I am so excited to get going with this stuff. You guys, this is such a great deal. Such a great idea. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, so here is a close-up of all of the stuff that I've pulled out of the box. I have everything out so that you guys can see each piece individually. So here is the stencil, and the stencil has like a screening material on it. It is so awesome, you guys. You can see all of the stuff on there. Here's the wooden books that I am obsessed with. They literally look like books. All of this twine, all of this ribbon, this is like a whole roll of ribbon. It's like the same length you could get at the Dollar Tree. The wood round with the slat sign, paint in the colors um, black and white. It's kind of like a charcoal black. And then of course the little um, cam with a topiary and the instructions right here with pictures and suggestions. And then this is what it looks like on the back, kind of how they did it. And how it says storytelling is the most powerful way to put ideas into the world. Tell yours. So it also talks about sanding your project. It says the first thing you want to do is sand your project. Oh, and look at the back of this stand right here. So you just put that little dowel into the back part right there and then it holds it up. So it says to sand all of your pieces. And so I went ahead and I just ran my sander over all of the pieces that you can see. And then I wanted to get everything painted so that I could set that side to dry. And when I say painted, I also mean stained. Um, some of these pieces I did stain. Um, I'm staining the wood round in the color Jacobian. And then I also stained just one of the three books in the same color. I just wanted one because I wanted the contrast. And I made sure to stain the back and the peg so that the project just looked a little bit more complete. So I wanted to be able to stencil the darker paint on for the lettering. So I went ahead and I used the white paint to give this a pretty heavy top coat of some dry brushing so that this kind of gave it a lighter color, if that makes any sense. So I stained it to make it dark and then I painted over it basically to make it light so that I could use the dark paint for the lettering.
I wanted all three books to be different colors, so as you saw, I stained one. This one we are painting white, and here in a minute you will see that we paint the third one with um, the color Waverly chalk paint. Wow, the brand Waverly chalk paint, but in the color Moss. I also loved how they did their mini rolling pin, which I'm still completely obsessed with. And so I did paint the middle of mine white as well, and then the handles will be dark. Once my stained book was dry, I went ahead and I taped off the edges where I had the stain, and then I put some white paint on where the pages would be because I love the contrast of the stain with the white, and then it looks like the pages of the book are white. Okay, so now it's time to use a stencil. So um, they do tell you that you can cut the stencil up, I didn't cut the stencil up. I don't really know why because I think it would have been fine to cut the stencil up, but at the time I just wanted to kind of keep the stencil with the backing for when I was done with it because I knew I was gonna be using it all at once. And so I just used it all at like the same time since I was outside in my garage. And then I washed my stencil off when I was all done with it. Okay, so we set that aside to dry, and then now I will be distressing this white book right here with the darker color. I will be leaving those pages white right there as well. And I do paint the other pages um, on the third book white as well, I believe, so that they all kind of match. But I go ahead and I get this distressed, and then, you guys, I'm telling you, I'm obsessed with the stencil, and you will see me stencil all the things. Everything, everything gets some sort of stencil. Maybe even a little bit um, extra. I don't, I don't know. I think it all turned out great, but I'm telling you, I was very excited about this stencil. And because we are farmhouse, we are gonna distress this book too. So this is the stained one, of course, and I'm distressing it with white. And then I used the stencil to um, kind of rearrange the words. This wasn't how it was lined up, but that's the awesome thing about a stencil is you could make your own stuff. And so I stenciled on the words, our farm. So it kind of looked like a little journal about our farm, but I liked that it was like really rustic looking. I thought it was cute. Okay, here we are finally painting that third book, as promised. Um, again, this is the color Moss in Waverly White. Oh, wow. Waverly Jock Paint, you guys. It's moss. It's green. It's, it's that right there. But I went in and I got this third book completely painted. And then once this is dry, we will be painting the pages white and giving this some white distressing and some stenciling as well, of course.
Okay, now we are gonna be using the ribbon and the twine for the embellishing. So I went ahead and just used the ribbon to tie this multiple loop bow just by making a bunch of loops and tying some twine in the middle and then giving it some tails. And then I made a smaller little jute bow right here just with a bunch of loops of twine and then tying that around the middle as well. And then I just hot glued this on for this little embellishment. And the circular sign is done after this. So I love the way a little bead garland looks whenever you have books or stacked books. So I wanted to make just a smaller one and so I just used these beads that you can get from Joann's and I ended up just leaving them raw. I strung them onto the twine. It's not very long. It's honestly maybe like 10 inches long is all. And then I tied it off at the end with a tassel. And then um, using the hearts that come in the kit, I did paint them brown. I drilled a hole in the top right corner of the heart so that I could put this onto this little beaded garland here for the books. And then I wanted more of this ribbon because it is, it is so cute. I needed more of it to be displayed. So I went ahead and I just tied a cute little bow and then hot glued this onto the can, the little canister. I also, of course, did a stencil on the canister. So I just glued this on right underneath the greenery around the rim of this little tin metal can. And here is the completed look. You guys, look how much comes in this box. It's super affordable. All of this came in one box. This is what you would get if you signed up for their monthly subscription. So thank you so much to Project Home DIY for sending this to me. You guys, like I said, I will be purchasing some of their kits because I love her stuff. Make sure you go check her out on Instagram especially. They also have a website and they do have a YouTube channel. So. The tutorials are on their channel, but they have a website where you can sign up for the monthly subscription. And one of the best parts is I have a discount code for you guys. So I will leave that code right here for you and I will also have it down in the description box. And I will also be advertising this over on my Instagram if you guys would like to check that out over there as well. But the code you can use is gonna be Annalee20 and that will give you 20% off of your very first box that you get for your very first month. Here I wanted to show you how each um, one of the books looks individually. I did put something on each one of them as you can see because you can display these in different ways. You do not have to stack them. I love that you can change it up too. So if you don't want them to be stacked for a while then you can pull them apart and they still look so cute upright on their own. So I do show you guys um, a couple different ways of how to display how cute these are. Thank you so much to Project Home DIY for sending me this box and I hope you guys love it as much as I love this. So like I said again, don't forget, you guys can use my code to get 20% off. Everything will be linked down below and let me know which one you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you like this box.
send you is included. You guys, they send you plenty of stuff. Paint, ribbon, all of it. Great supplies. So it tells you everything that the kit includes. It tells you step one, step two, step three. It tells you about the stencil, how to use the stencil, the stencil how to wash the stencil. It is amazing. This was right up my alley. I just want to say thank you to Project Home DIY. They're on YouTube and on Instagram, so I will make sure that I have everything linked down below for you guys to check them out after you check out Jamie, of course. Thank you again to Jamie for doing this collab with me. All right, guys, end segment. Thank you so much to those of you who are still here at the end. I have a really fun one for you guys today, and it is about a fellow YouTuber. Some of you may know who he is, but it is about Alex Boyer. Alex Boyer is a YouTuber, he is a singer, he is a professional singer, and he is incredible, you guys. He will also be linked down below so that you guys can check him out. Alex Boyer, basically, he's, he's sang for his whole life and he's done a lot over in London, but I discovered him through YouTube. He put a lot of his stuff on YouTube and that really helped him to grow. In one of my end segments, I talked to you guys about David Bowman, if you remember. He's the one that I have the subscription to. and. They went on to their website together. I actually can link that video down below for you guys. I can link the Alex Boyer and David Bowman video. It is on YouTube, that's one of his free ones that he uses just to show people what he does, David Bowman I mean. And so I will have that link down below for you guys. But they talk about using your talents. Most of us have talents. In fact, I would argue that all of us have talents. Some of us just don't know what those talents are and they, we don't know how to discover them or how to use them or we just don't know, maybe we don't know what they are yet. But I do believe that everybody is born with at least one talent. Alex and David get together and they talk about using your talents to bless the world. You should be using your talents to not only bless your life, but to bless other people's lives too. So when people are gifted, right? When people say, oh, they have a gift, they're gifted, they're talented. It's a gift. It is a gift. David says the analogy, it is a gift. You should give it away. Give your talents away. Share your talents, share your inspiration, share what you are really, really good at with the world. David is an amazing artist and he draws as he creates inspiration and he inspires families. Alex Boyer is a singer and he shares his talents by singing. He's an incredible, talented singer. So my challenge to you guys is, Whatever talent you have, if you have a well-known talent, if you can sing, if you can play an instrument, if you can dance, if you are good with people, if you are smart with technology, if you're smart with numbers, if you are funny, if you have a sense of humor and you're a comedian, if you're just a good people reader and you can help people use those talents, please share them. Try to find out what your talents are if you don't know what those talents are. I know for a fact that I'm not a singer, I am not a dancer, and I don't play an instrument. But one thing that I feel that I have, I'm pretty good with is people. I'm really good with people. I enjoy people. I enjoy their company. I enjoy being social. I enjoy talking. Shocking. Here we are. Shocking. I've been told that I have a gift with people. So I want to share that with you guys, which is why I do my end segment at the end of each one of my videos. I get inspiration and I just can't keep it to myself. I cannot in good faith keep it selfishly to myself I have to share it with you guys so when I find something that is uplifting and makes me smile I have to share it with you guys and it is an honor and a privilege to share this with you and I'm just so grateful that so many of you enjoy it as well two videos that I'm gonna leave for you down there for the end segment I'm gonna leave the David Bowman and the Alex Boyer video together and then I'm gonna leave a video from Alex Boyer when he talks it, it's his life story it's only like two minutes long and he talks about his life struggle of becoming a singer. You guys, it was not easy for him. He was told over and over and over that he was terrible. He auditioned for America's Got Talent and he was on that show seven times, you guys. Seven times, seven, right? seven times. He was shut down seven times. He was told, stop singing, you are terrible. One of the judges asked him, they said, are you a comedian? Because that was a joke. Brutal, 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 brutal. And he felt terrible, but he knew that he had a gift and he had a talent and he pushed forward on the seventh time. He made it on America's Got Talent. He 
all four judges right across the board loved him you guys and he does so many things I promise you can look him up and you've maybe even seen him I saw him perform once in person I have a picture with him that I will share with you guys check him out make sure that you check him out down below all right you guys that's it for the video. I have so many links for you to check out. That's like five or six videos and links that I have for you guys today, full of goodness and inspiration and just fun stuff. So you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for everything that you do. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to consider subscribing, I would love to have you. Give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.